It is only a tropical storm right now, but it soon could become Hurricane Isaac and threaten South Florida or the entire state of Florida. Right now, Tropical Storm Isaac is forecast to hit the southernmost tip of Florida as a Category 1 hurricane sometime early Monday morning, August 27, 2012. Now, if we go over here to the Weather Underground website and look at the Tropical Storm Isaac page, which I will link to in the description below, you can see that as of 2 a.m. Monday morning, the five-day, this is the five-day forecast, shows it heading for right at the tip of South Florida right then. Now, as far as Hurricane Isaac threatening to cancel or wreak havoc at the Republican National Convention in Tampa, the storm is forecast to be in South Florida again by Monday morning. So that means it is likely to be near the Tampa Bay Forum, Tampa Bay Times Forum, which is the convention center basically, by Tuesday just in time for the convention to be in full swing and really could spell disaster for the entire week. If we look at this map here again, Tampa is right about here. This is not a very good to scale map, but Tampa's right about here where I'm clicking and as you can see we've got 2 a.m. Sunday, 2 a.m. Monday, we extrapolate that out and 2 a.m. Tuesday would put it right in the center of what will be some 50,000 visitors to the Republican convention in Tampa along with some expected 15,000 protesters possibly trying to wreak their own havoc on the big show. Now with the likely forecasts that are projected right now, we live right about here in Florida and we would be on the northeastern side of the projected track of the storm and unfortunately that is the side that usually gets the worst weather. This, this area right along in here of the storm, which by the time it moves up here will be right along in here. That's the northeastern side. That is the side that gets the worst weather and the highest and most destructive winds. So we're making plans that have the necessary hurricane preparedness supplies on hand. Now some people buy portable generators, which we can see over here at Amazon.com for the hurricanes when the power goes out, and some people just stock up on food. We tend to be the people that stock up on food and water, and our neighbors on both sides of us have generators, and during the last hurricanes they were noisy and loud, but hey, you gotta have power. But one little, if you decide to get a generator, go with something like this and decide to get one. And one little tip about a portable generator, as you can see, this one right here has wheels, and if we zoom in on it, you can see the wheels here, my recommendation would be to get the kind with wheels because these things are heavy, heavy, heavy puppies. I've lifted plenty of these with some friends off of the back of trucks and they are extremely heavy. So make sure you get the ones with wheels because you don't want to be dragging these things around your yard, your house, whatever. Anyway, um, for those of us that live in Florida and especially those going to the RNC convention in Tampa next week, is certainly going to be interesting. So, so stay tuned and let's see what happens.